The technical decision maker is the person that is safeguarding the individual and the business. It's not just about running software. It's about protecting that personal identifiable information of that individual, the business, and the customer. From an external threat viewpoint, then you need to look at things such as bring your own devices, the economic threats that are going on with GDPs and austerity measures, budget controls, which are very, very key, but it could mean that organisations today are losing budget in areas around security and they're reducing their security posture. And finally, the mobile workforce. All organisations are out there now working outside of offices and it's especially key in the SMB area where you need people outside and you need them flexible and to adjust to their customer needs. That mobile workforce needs to make sure their security when they're outside of the office is as stringent as it is inside the office. Some other areas that people should concentrate on are employees and also application management. With social media becoming one of the most adopted communication forms, we need to look at the way that people use social media. Whether it's application management, whether it's the intersection between social and business, but organisations need to make sure that their employees, their businesses, are using the right ethics and the way to operate social media to ensure there's no security exposure, that content sprawl and data sprawl doesn't go out of control and they can manage that environment effectively. The cyber criminals, the hacktivists, are all out there looking at organisations that do SEO. What they will build into their systems is they will already put the fake and fraudulent websites into those results that come back. So when people then go out there targeting those websites for real, honest, commercial reasons, they're going to be already targeting some of the fake sites and be pushed down those. So organisations need to make sure that they validate that and make sure that their security environment for endpoint security, for website and web security is managed effectively. Technical decision makers need to make sure they have two things covered, both the technology. Make sure you have a central management area that all of your security posture rolls up into one. So you can report both for yourself, you can implement, but you can also roll up to your higher management so they can see at an instant what is going on. Secondly, it's the physical side, it's the people. So making sure you have correct policies, processes and procedures in place so individuals, employees understand how they should operate in these environments and actually mitigate any risk for a security breach. One of the things that the organisations need to do is put good control tools in place. If you think about something like policies, organisations should start from putting the highest level of control in place. It's always best to restrict than to remediate, i.e. it's easier to turn around to an organisation and give them more access than find that actually by giving them the full access to start with, they've actually allowed a zero day threat to come in. Security controls are an essential part of resource and security minded organisations. Each have to deal with budgets that are being cut and actually managing that budget in a way that they can increase the effective security posture of the organisation. So any automation they put in place must make sure that the product is integrated whether or not it's features from endpoints, from web, from messaging, and also the single management console that is in place. So that single lone employee can now manage that infrastructure, no matter how large it gets, but continues to control that environment. Our customers tell us they are faced with a number of challenges. Agility is essential and typically they are being asked to support a rapidly changing organization. One, that's moving data and applications to the cloud, deploying both physical and virtual environments and going increasingly mobile. 
At the same time, employees are forcing change by using their own devices and accessing social media, which is increasingly recognized for the business value it can deliver. More often than not, they're turning to IT to help, and IT has responded to these challenges by adopting virtualization programs, providing the mobile tools, and access to social media networks that users are asking for and of course also initiating cloud services agreements. But there is a problem. All this is driving need for new levels of protection and control. We hear a lot of talk about the consumerization of IT, and nowhere is the effect of this more felt than within the IT department itself. End users want productivity and ease of use. So they bring in their own technology, whether it's latest laptop, smartphone, or tablet. Employees are also increasingly using social media or mobile applications, which they've downloaded. And this is becoming more accepted as businesses start to see the value these tools offer, particularly for a small or medium-sized company. So with this phenomenon of bring your own device or even bring any device on the increase, it was surprising to find in a recent Kaspersky survey that usage restrictions are relaxed, where a staggering 33% allowed uncontrolled access via a smartphone. The knock-on effect for the IT department is ever more complexity. Not so long ago, IT departments congratulated themselves for having achieved a locked down environment. Well, no longer. Now end users are accessing company data at any time, on the move, at home, and from their own device. And this has dramatically increased the threat landscape for organizations. Malware is not a small problem, and increasingly it's not just plain malware anymore. The number, complexity, and diversity of cyber threats are soaring, and businesses are increasingly concerned about the risks they face. Yet, despite evidence of the dangers, we face an increasingly chaotic security landscape, and small and medium-sized businesses especially can find it difficult to implement manageable security policies and controls. As if proof were needed, in our 2012 Global IT Risk Survey, a huge 91% of organizations said that they have directly experienced at least one cyber threat in the past year, and over 40% of businesses say they feel underprepared for the threats around them. So if you want to make sure you are protected, it's vital that you recognize the nature of the threats you face and identify the vulnerabilities in your infrastructure. End users and endpoints are the weakest link, so controlling the websites end users are able to access, what devices they are able to use, and the applications they can deploy or download will give you an additional layer of protection. Quite simply, IT teams face a difficult situation. The combination of progressively sophisticated malware, increasingly mobile and empowered end users, plus a demanding business environment, mean that new approach is needed. At Kaspersky, we believe that deeper protection is needed and that this can only come from implementing a far more granular set of controls. We know that IT teams have a lot to deal with already, so whatever solution they deploy has got to be intuitive, easy to use, and ultimately make their life that bit easier. New technologies are needed to help to reduce the window of vulnerability organizations face today. And Kaspersky is meeting this challenge head on. We have a solid strategy to help our customers and provide superior, intelligent protection that helps them stay ahead of emergent threats. With a combination of intelligent protection methods and the management and control features needed to prevent malware from infiltrating your company, Kaspersky helps companies introduce deeper protection. We've integrated our superior best-of-breed anti-malware technology with powerful controls, including web control, application control, and granular device control. By fusing these technologies together under a single code architecture, we provide deeper protection, comprehensive manageability, and a high system performance. All of these intermeshed components work together to provide an unsurpassed shield of protection, made even stronger by our cloud-based reputation system, Kaspersky Security Network, 
which is a key element in our solution. All cyber criminals are looking for is a way in, and your end users and endpoints are the weak link and a potential entry point for cyber crime. And as we know, end users tend to take the law into their own hands, so to speak. Downloading software without it being sanctioned by the IT department, using whatever devices they want, including ones they bring in from outside of work life. So, controlling their behavior, including the websites they're able to access, what devices they're able to use, and especially the applications they can use or download, gives you additional layer of protection. This needs to operate at a highly granular level, person by person, application by application, but still needs to be easy to implement and then easy to adjust and manage. Kaspersky Endpoint Security was built from the start to address these needs, and it brings together our fundamental driving philosophies of IT security. Deeper protection, granular control, and ease of management. At the heart of our solution is Kaspersky Endpoint Security with inbuilt and powerful control technologies that can help companies manage their endpoints, stay in control, improve their security landscape, and remain protected by keeping ahead of emerging or even unknown threats. With a huge number of new applications developed every day, administrators must control and manage the applications their employees are downloading and installing. Traditionally, all applications are split into three groups non-malicious, non-clean, and unknown, and therefore unclassified. It's the last group of so-called gray applications that are the main source of danger. Application control makes it possible to apply restrictions on the actions of any application, for example, managing access to specific resources or data, or even blocking the application completely. Our integrated solution comes with Kaspersky Endpoint Security and gives you strong protection from malware and targeted attacks. And by ensuring unwanted applications can't be executed or make changes to a system, you significantly reduce the risk of zero-day malware impacting your endpoint and your network. Integrated models monitor and classify applications as trusted, restricted, or untrusted based on company policies. But our approach to application control is unique. An integral part of our solution is Kaspersky Dynamic Whitelist, which is not only a huge database of clean and trusted software, but a whole new level of support for dynamic changes in the software world. It consists of more than 500 million unique clean files, and every day we get 1 million new files. Our whitelisting club is responsible for monitoring and training the clean file intellectual systems. Today, Kaspersky Lab is the only company that has such a unique division. This efficiency and diverse functionality was confirmed with West Coast Lab's Platinum Award. In the test on coverage, Kaspersky Dynamic Whitelist received an overall result of 94% for software knowledge and a result of 100% for default deny testing. With default deny mode, administrators have the possibility of prohibiting the running of any files except those that are explicitly allowed by whitelist or system administrators. It significantly reduces the risk of being infected by targeted attacks. It also improves the IT resource usage since administrators can prohibit running unauthorized unlicensed or non-work-related software. Third-party devices are a major source of malware and often contains confidential corporate information. But device control lets administrators control the device used on their network and even create a list of trusted devices, as well as managing the interfaces, all of which can be tailored to specific groups or users. For example, administrators can control access to connected devices like data storage, printers, USB Wi-Fi modems, and in particular smartphones, which more often than not 
have access to corporate networks, email accounts, and much more. This granular device control helps enforce usage policies, reduces the risk of data loss, and minimizes or in many cases eliminates the threat of malware infections from devices. Administrators must control access to web resources, so unauthorized sites can be blocked, and specific content types or unauthorized downloads can be prevented. Kaspersky's web control technology offers this functionality with predefined categories to help automate the process and save valuable resources. It's not just our control technologies that sets us apart. Excellent malware detection rates, combined with our unified architecture, ensures all the components work together in harmony and provides all-around protection against different types of threats, either known or unknown. Kaspersky Security Center provides the foundation of our unique solution as it provides administrators with the ability to set and enforce policies. You can manage and control endpoints regardless of whether they are physical, virtual, or mobile resources. And access reporting from a single unified management console. Kaspersky gives you back the control you need to protect your endpoint. Malware detection, web, device, and application control are all tools that put you in a driver's seat.